Hey, Sierra Bible Church. I am here with a couple who is new to our fellowship, uh, Vincent and Caitlin Fazio. Uh, they're going to tell you a little bit about how God has been at work in their life and in their marriage over the course of the last uh, year or so. Uh, so, Vincent, we're going to start with you. One year ago, just before this pandemic started, how was your marriage? Uh... I would say our marriage was, honestly, it was terrible. It was, uh, we were short with each other. Uh, it was really dark. It was, it was horrible. It was uh, the pandemic, work. Uh, it, it, we were growing apart from each other. We were not honoring our vows. We were not honoring God. We were not walking with our faith like we had been for years prior to that. Um, it was just terrible. It was horrible. And what's your occupation that you currently currently do? I am a commercial truck driver. So being a commercial truck driver, what does that involve and what type of stress does that put on your marriage? It's a great amount of stress. It's uh, 70 to 80 hours a week, um, no sleep, six hours six hour sleep at the most. Um, dealing with traffic, weather, uh, shippers and receivers is really difficult. Uh, people in that industry have no, there's not a lot of integrity, morals, values. So it's, it just kind of, it, it wears you out little by little. Um, and as far as our marriage is concerned, I would bring a lot of that home with me. And uh, so the trucking industry for, for a marriage definitely is, is not good. So, Caitlin, let's uh, switch over to you here. During those long stretches where Vincent is on the road, what was that like on you personally? On me personally, that was stressful because we do have four children under the age of eight at that time. And it was, again, weeks at a time. I think the longest we ever went was 27 days apart. And that was me raising four children by myself who were at home and homeschooled and having to do everyday at home life. What would you say was the lowest of the low points? I don't know. I mean, the lowest point was just, are we ever going to get out of this, basically? Like, is this going to turn around or is it going to, you know, how much worse could it possibly get for us? So at what point did you realize, okay, we need some help? Um, so for me, one week before we moved back here, I, uh, I was in my truck, we were, we were fighting, we were screaming at each other, I, I couldn't handle it, I left the house, I got really, really angry, um, and I went to my truck, and I was on my knees, I was praying, and I was talking to Jesus, and uh, I was weeping, and I was crying, I was super mad, I was literally hitting the side of my truck, I was just so mad and confused, and I didn't know what to do, and, uh, you know, we had both done horrible things to each other, we had both... Uh, you know, for better or for worse, and this was a worse situation, but I was not honoring my vows. But at that time, being a selfish person, not walking in my faith like I always had before I went over the road, um, I was being very selfish, and I was always thinking about just what was she doing? Why, how was she not honoring her vows? And I was praying, and I asked Jesus, you know, what am I supposed to do? Did, like, should I divorce her? Should I get rid of her? Should I go try to find someone else or just get rid of this issue that I'm having, this problem that I'm having? It's just, this, it's no fun, you know? And uh, Jesus literally told me, he said, of course, of course you need to forgive her. Of course you need to move forward. What did I do for you, Vincent? Of course you need to move forward. Like, like telling me, obviously, why are you even asking me this question? I'll answer it for you, but why are you even asking me this question? And, uh, I knew then, that's when I knew then, like I had to, I had to fight through this, you know. Um, that's when we both started coming back to God and, um, yeah. So starting with uh, Caitlin here, how are you doing in your marriage now? So fast forward almost eight months now since we've lived here, um, we're doing amazing. The last three months have been awesome. Um, we're finally at a point where we know this is where we need to be, and yeah. Well, we're going to wrap this uh, interview up here with just one question. There's a lot of people who are watching this video that 
the pandemic, the isolation, the relational disconnection, the marital strife is causing their life to spiral downwards. And they're, they're heading to that place that, that you guys have already been at. Uh, if you could say anything to them right now, what would you say? Get down on your knees and pray and ask Jesus to come in your marriage or back in your marriage and, and to show you what it's really about and to not not pay attention to what people say, what the worldly possessions are, what worldly things are, to, to just focus on his kingdom and, and what he has to offer you, not, not what this world or, or the people here of this world have to offer. I would say similar to that, and don't be afraid to reach out to people for help, and also know that the church is here, because Carl, obviously God, number one, helped us, but Carl is the one who, in the very beginning, helped us when we moved here. So don't be afraid to reach out to the church or to friends. And yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Vincent and Caitlin. It truly has been an honor to walk with both of you during the, these last uh, few months, uh, knowing how God has worked so deeply in your lives and seeing the Spirit just being at work with you being open to his leading and realizing the, the steps that you need to take in order to be right with him because of his grace and in response to his grace. It's truly been an honor. Uh, Sierra Bible Church, uh, we love you. We thank, we're so thankful that uh, you are uh, able to wa watch in on uh, this little session that uh, Vincent, Caitlin, and I had. And please don't hesitate to reach out when you're at your lowest point. Christ is there and the church is there for you.